Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I'm really enjoying this fall season. I don't know how many of you guys love fall, but it is my favorite time of the year. I love Halloween, I love Thanksgiving, I love the leaves changing colors. It's starting to get really cold. Now, I don't really love, love, love the snow, but I do like the first snow. And on Sunday, we had our first snow and it was so much fun. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your fall season. And uh, to kind of celebrate the fall season a little bit, we're gonna draw something fall related. Today, we're gonna be drawing an acorn. Now, I don't know how many of you have actually seen an acorn, but they come from oak trees. So if you have an oak tree around, it's a good chance you've seen an acorn. They're a really cool type of nut that I actually learned some really cool facts about. So I wanna share that with you as we draw it. So let's make sure that we have all of our tools ready to get drawing and uh, let's go. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. You're gonna need a pencil, of course, and uh, a pen for once we're finished with our sketching, you're gonna need to put down our outline. So we'll do that with a dark marker or a pen. And then uh, we're gonna erase all of the sketch that we have underneath it. So make sure you have an eraser handy. And at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. So make sure to get some colors out, whether that's crayons, colored pencils, markers, paints, whatever you wanna use. But as always, we're gonna start with a sketch. So let's try to plan out where this is gonna be because I don't wanna just draw just an acorn. That'd be really quick. I wanna also draw an oak leaf attached to it, which would be kind of make this a little bit more interesting. So. We're gonna offset the acorn just a little bit to the left so we'll have some room for this leaf up here. Let's start with our acorn shapes. Our acorn's gonna be right around, let's start maybe with like a little square shape. Let's start with that. So we're gonna have our acorn right around here. Yeah, right around over here. Mm, yeah, like that. So we'll do like kind of a square shape over on this side. Let's do that, kind of a square. You can draw really lightly because we are going to be changing this, obviously. This is just going to be our guide. So we have our square shape. And from the top of that, let's build the top of our acorn shell. Now they're in two parts. They have like this little cap on top, which looks like a little beret. Do you know what a beret is? The, you see all those like French artists still have it on their head? Look it up. They're a little hat that goes on your head. And that's kind of what these look like. They remind me of at least. So we're going to draw that little, that little cap on the top of our acorn by drawing some little curves right here on the side. Draw two little curves right here on the side, right at the tops of our square. And then we're just gonna take it, we're gonna kind of round it off up here to connect those two curves. Sound good? All right, and we might move this out just a little bit more. That's not as important because now we need to make the little point on the bottom. So you can either make yours a couple different ways. I'm gonna make mine a little bit more uh, angular, you can make yours a little bit more rounded if you want. If you want to round these edges off here, you can totally do that. There's lots of different shapes and sizes of acorns, so it's up to you. The one I'm going to do is kind of more squared off though, and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of curve it, let's say right around here. I'm going to start curving it right around here and bring it in. And right, and let's make a little point like right about here, right in the center. And right before it goes all the way in, just reverse it a little bit, do that. So it's almost like an S shape. Does that make sense? So we'll do an opposite curve right next to it and it kind of blends right into our main shape. So if, yeah, if you wanna, we could totally add a little bit of a curve to that to make it feel a little bit less stiff. That works, huh? I think that works out just fine. So we have a little cap, we have a little hard shell that it's in, and inside of this is a single seed. Rarely is there two, but there's a single oak tree seed right inside of that thing. So it's protected in the middle of this. It's pretty cool though, it's a pretty cool shape for just having a little seed inside there. I draw the little stem up here. And that looks about right, I think that's in a good position. We can continue fiddling with that in a second, but let's go ahead and figure out where this leaf is going to go. All right, so we're gonna draw just a line that kind of goes straight out here. Like I said, acorns grow on oak trees, and because these acorns are so heavy, these, these really hard shells, they don't fall very far from the tree, which means they're not gonna be able to grow a lot of new oak trees, and that's what oak trees want to do. They wanna spread the seeds and they wanna have more oak trees made. So they have to rely on animals to do that. 
So let me tell you more about that in a second. Let's draw this leaf. Now an oak leaf is a very unique shape. So let me start drawing that. It's very rounded off. And, uh, and then we can start talking more about the animals that eat these acorns. All right, so we're gonna go start with kind of a little curve out here like this. Or we're gonna kind of go back in like that. And then we're gonna go a little bit further out, kind of do a little loop, go a little bit further out and do the same thing. Come back in. Now start coming back in towards the middle. It's gonna get smaller and smaller. And then that's gonna land right up there like that. Now, I could probably pull this in a little bit more. Yeah, I like the look of that better. That looks more like an oak tree or a, a leaf on an oak tree, I should say. All right, so now we just need to mirror that and mimic it on the other side. So we'll just do the same thing. So we'll go out and try to copy what you did on that side. Kind of go in and then go out again. Now it's not gonna be perfect and that's okay. I'm not really, if you need to turn your page, do that for the sake of this video, make it easier for you to see. I'm not gonna go and flip my whole, my whole uh, sheet of paper, but you can do that and it does make it easier for you to draw. So maybe you should try that out. And then I'm just gonna try to draw the best I can from this angle. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I wanna round that off a little bit more like that, just a little bit. All right, now these are just little details that really just matter to me. So as you're drawing it, you feel like you need to tweak it, do whatever you need to do. It's not gonna be perfect, and we're not going for perfect. We're going for fun, and that it looks like an acorn with a oak leaf on, attached to it. So, and I think we've done that. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna start drawing some details on here, but let me tell you more about those, uh, those animals. So lots and lots of birds love to eat acorns because birds and, and lots of different kind of animals because of the nutrients. They have lots and lots of nutrients in them. But uh, like woodpeckers and all types of jays and pigeons, they all love to eat acorns. But so do like squirrels, so the smaller mammals, like mice. And I was really surprised to learn this, but deer really love them. And in the fall, that sometimes the, the acorns make up around 25% of everything that they eat, their entire diet, it's all acorns. That's pretty cool. That must be in those acorns have something good in them for them. So do we eat acorns? No, <laughs> we don't really eat acorns. Well, we can, we can eat acorns, but do not eat raw acorns. So if you see an acorn outside, do not eat it. It can make you really sick. And same thing with horses, actually. Horses get really sick if they eat acorns. Not sure why, um, but there's something in it that could really, really upset your stomach. So don't go eating acorns, but you can collect them because they do look really cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, so lots and lots of animals eat them. I was, I was looking that up because I was curious. I was like, I don't know if we actually eat them or do people eat them? And I think there's ways to prepare them so you can, um, but do not eat them raw. That's for sure. So don't just find one on the ground and eat it. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of erasing here to get this prepped for the outline work. And then right here, once you get this made, once you've already kind of got the main outlines of everything, you can make it however you want. So if you wanted to clean that up and make it rounder or longer, there's some really long skinny ones that are kind of cool um, that you could do. But I'm gonna add a little, uh, little top on here. It kind of feels like a pine cone. So there's a couple ways you can do the top here. Um, well, I shouldn't say a couple ways. There's infinite amount of ways that you can do the top here with a little pattern, but it kind of looks like this. So either you can do kind of the, the pine cone way where it kind of goes like that. That would be really cool. Uh, or you can do, let me do that. Or you can just do the lines like that on the top. It's up to you. You can choose whichever one you want. I think I'm just going to do the lines, but if you want to do like the little, um, almost like a, what do they call it, roof shingles, you can totally do those. It'd be kind of fun to do. But I think I'm just going to do the lines here, kind of look like a chain link fence on mine. But you pick whatever uh, you want to do on yours because it's yours and you can make it look just like yours. You don't have to necessarily copy mine exactly. So, all right, so let's move on to the outlining. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna kind of try to get this. See, I'm not gonna keep this exactly the same as what I drew, but it's a really good starting point. 
and it helps act as a nice little guide for me. That's why I always start off with a sketch. Sketches really help me clean up my work. Now, what is your favorite season? What's your favorite season? Do you like fall? I love fall. I love summer. I love all the seasons for different things. I love the summer because I love all the things I get to do outdoors. I love backpacking and camping. And that is way fun to do in the summer. So I love that kind of stuff. There's lots of fun stuff in the summer. I lived in California and summers were a lot of fun. We lived right next to the beach and that was a lot of fun. And then we moved to Boston, Massachusetts. And we moved to Boston. Guess what my favorite holiday was, or not my favorite holiday, my favorite season was right after Boston. Yep, that's right, it was fall. Fall is gorgeous on the East Coast of the United States. It's beautiful. My wife and I actually go back there and visit during the fall just because we love it so much. The trees changing colors. I love all the, the mills and the, and the pumpkin patches and old farms. It's all very, very beautiful and fun. I think I just have really good memories attached to fall. Starting to get cold, you bundle up, you spend a lot of time with your family. I really like that. Especially during Thanksgiving for us here in the States. Just this holiday season falls the, the start of all of the fun holidays where you get to see your family a lot. Which this year, it made it extra exciting because this fall season, because my family, not all of them, but a lot of them moved here in Idaho where I live in Boise, and they all moved around here near us. So we get to spend the holidays with them all the time now, which is a whole lot of fun. So, alrighty, so I think I'm finished here with all of the stuff that I want to do with this before I jump into the colors. So go ahead and erase all of the sketch underneath there. Get rid of that just to clean it up. See how nice that looks once you do that? So clean all that up and then uh, move right on to color. I'll do that while you go ahead and finish up what you want to do and we'll catch up right after. Does that sound good? Perfect. We are done. Awesome, look at that little acorn. Getting me all excited for fall. <laughs> well, I hope you guys had a good time. This was a whole lot of fun making. I know it seems small and simple, and sometimes those things, you know, you think they're not gonna be very fun to draw, end up being a whole lot of fun. And I felt like I had a lot more fun just in the coloring alone. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys learned a little something about acorns and you're excited about what you just made because you should be really proud that you made something new. That's awesome. So let's make sure that we sign our work so everybody knows that uh, we're proud of what we made. I'm gonna put my initials down here in the corner and I'm gonna call this finished. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. This is always so much fun. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what you want me to draw. I, I keep drawing things that I think would be fun to draw, but uh, let me know what you want to draw so we can add that to the list. So if you want to contact me and let me know what you want to draw or if you have a drawing that you'd like to show off, all you have to do is go on Instagram and either tag us at Brave Kids Art Club if it's your artwork or if you want to reach out directly, just go and direct message us. Thanks so much, you guys. And remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.